let's do a problem similar to what we just finished doing in the previous video, but instead of adding or saying, you know, what is 100 more than a given number or 1,000 more, let's say what happens when we take away. What happens when we take a number that's 1,000 less or 100 less than a given number? So let's pick our number to be 5,007. Let me make sure I'm using the right tool. 5,732. So first of all, let's write down 5,732 in terms of our in terms of our uh, poker chips or in terms of our cans of marbles. So 5,000. So let's see if I can draw 5,000. It's green. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Right, and each of those are a thousand. Each of those are a thousand. I have seven hundred. That's going to take me a little time to draw. Seven hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred. Those last two overlap. One hundred. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. I have three tens. It's one, two, three tens. 10, 10, 10. And I have two ones. That's easy. Two ones. So one, two, two ones. So let's say what happens when I what if I were to ask you what is I don't know 1000 less than 5732 Well this is 5732 so if I take if I say what is 1000 less what am I doing Well I'm essentially going to take away a bucket of 1000 or or a can of 1000 marbles or I'm going to take away uh, a a a one thousand dollar poker chip. So let's look at our thousands. Well we have one, two, three, four, five thousands. I'm gonna take one of them away. So let me take I don't know, let me take this one. Let me I'll just cross it out. So I'm gonna essentially what's one thousand less? So let me take away one of these. So I'm gonna take this one away. So what's the resulting number? Well how many thousands do I have left if I took this one away? I have one, two, three, four, four thousand. How many hundreds? Well, I still have seven hundreds, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Didn't change that. Three tens, thirty. Two ones, two. Four thousand seven hundred thirty-two. And if we if we didn't do it using our poker chips or using our uh, cans of marbles, you could just say, well, if you took a thousand away from five thousand seven hundred thirty-two, you essentially just take a you take one from the thousands place. This is the equivalent of taking away one thousand. So we took away one from the five, and we got four here. So four thousand seven hundred and thirty-two. Fair enough. Let me erase this. I did not want to erase with the yellow. I have to draw that that uh, thousand chip back. I'll erase it first. Let me draw that back. So the original number is 5,000, so that's why I wanted that to be back there. So what happens if, instead of saying, what is 1,000 less than 5,732, what happens if I ask you, what is, I don't know, what is 1 less? What is 1 less than 5,732? Well, just like when we did a thousand less, we took away a thousand dollar poker chip. If we want one less, we'll take away a one dollar poker chip. So essentially, we could take away one chip, right? I took that away. So what do we have left? We have five thousand, and I'll just do it in one color. Well, I'm going to actually do it this way. We have five thousand, seven hundred, still seven hundred, thirty. Three tens is thirty, and we took one away here, so we only have one left. I'm just counting them, so we have five thousand seven hundred thirty-one, which makes sense. You take away one from five thousand seven hundred thirty-two, you're taking one away from the ones place, so the two goes down by one to become a one, right here. 
So let me add back that that one dollar that I took out to do another problem. So what happens if I were let me erase some of this? So what happens if I were to ask you what is what is one hundred less than five thousand seven hundred and thirty two? Well, I'm going to take away a hundred chip, right? So let me just I'll just erase it. I've always been erasing the bottom one, but I could erase any of them. So I'm going to take one of these seven hundreds away. I erase that one. It disappeared. It doesn't exist anymore. So now what do I have left? I have five thousand. 5,000. How many hundreds do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 600. That makes sense. I had 7. I took away. I have 6 now. I had 7. I took one of the hundreds away. I have 6 now. 3 tens. 30. 2 ones. Let's do one left. One more. But before I do that, I have to add that 100 back that I just took away. Add the 100. There we go. Let me erase this. Erase that. And let's say, what is 10 less? What is 10 less than 5,732? Well, that means we take away a $10 chip away from, from our collection of chips. So what is 10 less? Well, I'm just erase one of the tens. That's gone. So now we have 5,700. We have two tens, two tens, and two ones. So 5,722 is what we get when we take 10 away from 5,732, which makes sense because we took 10 away, so we decreased the tens place by 1 to get 5,722. So let's do a couple of exercises now that I think we have a familiar familiarity with what happens when we add 10 to a number or take away 10 from a number or add 100 or 1,000 or 1. Uh, let's, let's see if we can count by 100 or a thousand or by one or different orders. So what I want you to do is count in steps of ten. So count in steps of ten from one thousand six hundred and seventy eight to one thousand seven hundred and twenty eight. Let's see if we can do that. So the first it's one thousand six hundred and seventy eight. So we're counting in steps of 10. So we're adding a 10 every time. So when you add 10, you add, you increase the tens place by 1. So 1,678, when you add 10, becomes 1,688. Right? We just added 10. Let's add 10 more. We get 1,698. And now once again, if we add, if we just incremented this digit by 1, we get a 10 here. But you can't have 10. You can have 10 tens, but you wouldn't write it that way. What happens when you have 10 tens? That means you have an extra 100, right? 10 tens equal 100. So now instead of incrementing this and getting a 10 somehow in the tens place, we say, oh, well, we're going to have 10 tens, so let's increment the hundreds place. So we get 1,700, and we used all of these plus one more to get that extra 100, so now we have 0 tens. Eight, so it's 1,708. And now from here, it's actually pretty straightforward. We keep incrementing the tens place again. 1,718, 1,728, 1,000. Oh, that's where we wanted to go. We're done. Let's do another one. I'll switch colors. Let's let's step in a hundred counts. Count in steps of 100 from 1,678 to 2,178. Let's see what we can do. So we have 1,678. We, we're incrementing by 100, so we add 1 to the hundreds digit every time. So we, now we have 1,778. 1, 878, 1,978. And now something interesting happens. 
we are going to add another 100. So we would have 10 hundred. But 10 hundred, once again, you can't have a 10 in the hundreds place. You can't put a two digit number there. And 10 hundreds also equal 1,000. So this is going to actually, this instead of having 900, we say, well, we have one more 1,000. So we take those nine, and we're adding another 100. We get another 1,000, so we increment the thousands place. We get 2,000 now. And so, and and we use all of these up plus the extra hundred to get that extra thousand. So now we we're going back to zero hundreds, seventy-eight, and then we keep adding hundreds again, two thousand one hundred and seventy-eight. Let's do one more. I want to count in steps of a thousand from 1,678 to 8,678. This is pretty straightforward. So we start with 1,678. What's 1,000 plus that? Well, when you add 1,000, you're essentially adding 1 to the thousands place. So you get 2,678, 3,678, 4,678, 5,678, I think you get the point. 6,678, 7,778, and then we get 8,700. Sorry, <laughs> actually, I messed up. Even the best of us can make careless mistakes. I actually incremented the hundreds place here. 6,678, we're only increasing by the thousands place. We get 7,678, and then we get 8,678. You can't do anything too quickly. All right. Now this unit, we just have one more set of exercises. And I think it's good, you know, so I'm, I just want to do all of them. So I'm going to give you a set of numbers, and I want you to complete the blank. So let's say we went from 3,098 to 3,099. And I have a blank here. Then I got 3,000. 101, and then 3,102. Put commas here, so you know these are different numbers. So what do we do? When we go from 3,098 to 3,099, what did we do? We increased by 1, right? And going from 3,101 to 3,102, we also increased by 1. So essentially, this looks like we're just increasing by 1 every time. So what's 1 more than 3,099? Well, just remember, we have, when you add 1 to 99, you're essentially getting 100, right? So you could say 3,100. And it makes sense then that when you add 1 to that, you get 101, 102. And this was the hard one to figure out, right? Because when you increment the 1's place by 1, you get a 10 there. And you say, oh, no, now I have 10 1's, so I have an extra 10. And so you, you want to, so you, instead of writing this, 3,009, 10, you can't write that. So you, you exchange those 10's, those 10 1's for an extra 10. So then you might say, 3,010, 0. But you can't have that either. So exchange those 10 tens for 100. And you get 3,100 and nothing else. And that's what we got there. Let's do that a couple of more times. So let's say we have, I don't know, 3,098, 3,108, 3,000. 118, let's say blank, and then 3,138. Put some commas in. So what happened when we went from 3,098 to 3,108? What did we do? What's the difference between 3,098 and 3,108? The ones place is the same, but if we look at the tens place, we, what happens when you increment this by 1, when you increase the tens place by 1? You can't put a 10 there, right? So when you have, you have 9 tens here, this is a tens place, you increment it by 1, you have 10 tens. Well, what's 10 tens? It's 100. So you, you exchange all of those, add the extra one, and you get an extra 1 there. So all we did here is we increased by 10. And you see that here again, 1,108. 1,118, we increased by 10, because the tens place increased by 1. So let's increase by 10 again. We just increment the tens place. 3,128.
Let's do one more of these. And there are a couple more in the workbook, but I think you, you get the idea. So start with the same number, 3,098. Say blank. And I really encourage you to pause these before I tell you how to do them. See if you can do it themselves. 5,098, 6,098, 7,000. 98. Well, this might be obvious. I mean, you don't know what the next one is because you just have one number, so you don't know what the pattern is. But you go 5,098, 6, 6,098, 7,098. So it sounds like after everyone, we're just increasing the thousands by one, right? We're adding 1,000. So this is 3,098. Let's add 1,000. 4,098, 5,098. That's it. Let's do. Actually, we've been doing, uh, actually, I think I want to do one or two more just to make sure we, we get all the concepts in. So let's say I have 8,903. And then I have a blank number here. And then I have 8,883, 8,873, and then 8,000. 863. So there's a couple of ways. We see it's hard to figure out a pattern when you only have one number here, but we can look at these. What happens? We're going 8,883, 8,873. So we're, we decreased the tens place by 1. Then we have 8,863. We decreased the tens place by 1. So we're decreasing by 10 every time, minus 10. So this number right here must be 10 more than this number. So what's 10 more than this number? Well, we increase the tens place by 1, and we get 8,893. And this is interesting, because when we subtract 10 from here, how do we do that? How do we subtract 10 from here, from 8,903? Well, we have nothing in the tens place right there. So what we do is we take one of these hundreds. So we only have 800 left. We take one of them. We exchange them for 10 tens. And then we take one of those tens away. So we say this is the same thing as 8,800, and then 10 tens and a 3. right? If we think of the place, this is a tens place. And now we decrease it by 1, and we get this, 8,893. I think that gives you good intuition, and this, this video has run very long. So uh, I will see you actually in the next unit. See you soon.